This is my first real watercolor painting since I was in fourth grade over 20 years ago. I have spent much of my life dabbling here and there in art, but I have rarely completely jumped in head first. Now, after several years of artist's block, I have decided to force myself back into it through learning a new medium. How better to do that than to paint a Mother's Day gift for my mom? It took me some time to decide on what to paint, but eventually I settled on a painting of my daughters playing at the beach from a trip we took with my mom recently. So, why watercolor? Well, there are a few reasons that I finally settled on this as my return medium for getting past my artist's block. First of all, it's quite containable, easy to clean up, and easy to take with me wherever I go. Being a busy mom of two in a family with only one car means that whatever art I do needs to meet all of those requirements. Another reason is that the other mediums I've worked with frequently in the past are colored pencils and pen. And from what I've learned from the bits and pieces of hyperfocus research that I've done, watercolor melds quite well with both of those mediums. And last of all, I honestly really love the look of watercolor. My work has always leaned towards organic shapes and landscapes, and watercolors fit those qualities quite well from what I've seen. Those few of you who have seen my other videos know that this is a bit of a departure from my usual content. As I said in my most recent video, I have been struggling to figure out what I want to do with this channel. Back when I first started, the plan was to utilize this channel to build a fan base surrounding the creation of my sci-fi fantasy universe, Statera and eventually share my stories, either here or on a sister channel. I feel like I've strayed significantly from that idea, and oddly enough, this is the beginning of an attempt to return to that goal. You see, back when I first started creating my universe, sometime in 2003 or so, much of what it was inspired by were doodles and art that I made in my free time. My artwork was a middleman, so to speak. A way for me to transfer what was in my head onto the page so that I could better convey it through written word. Sometimes a doodle that was nothing more than a mindless drawing would end up becoming something very important in a story. It was one of my key forms of inspiration. So here I am now, and I'm hoping that in bringing you all along with me in this new art journey of mine, that I will soon be able to share more of my expanding universe of Statera, and the works that will eventually lead to me bringing it to life as a full series of audiobook animatics. It feels oddly fitting that this will be my first return to art, as my family has always been a huge part of my inspiration as well. Especially my mom in years past. And now, my two amazing daughters. They've brought so much light and love and happiness into my world. They've helped expand my imagination, they surprise me. They say things that startle me and make me laugh. They push me to think outside the box, to go further than I thought I could, to push myself to my limits, 
Sometimes that feels like a bad thing, but it always ends up being a lesson I needed to learn. A way for me to grow and evolve that makes me a better person and hopefully now a better artist. I know that this is different than the things that I've shared before, but I hope you'll stick around because I promise there are some really cool things in the works. I know I've said that before and I've always meant it. Life tends to get in the way, but I'm working as hard as I can to get them out to you. Life can get busy and it's really difficult to share as frequently as I would like to, especially with the struggles of trying to edit and finding time to record when the house is quiet. But I really appreciate all of you. Whatever time you spend listening and watching helps so tremendously, and eventually it will pay off. You will get to see some really amazing things, I promise. I really love how this one turned out. The water isn't exactly how I hoped, but you can still see the movement. And I love how the girls are obviously having so much fun. My mom loved it. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time.